to discuss humanism. This afternoon we're going to discuss the New Age Movement. This comes in a many degrees, many facets of this are brought forth. But as Bible scholars, you must understand this. What do you know about the ages? What does God's Word have to say about the ages? God says there are three ages, and I will tell you this, anyone that teaches a new earth age in the flesh is a liar, a traitor to the Word of the living God by saying they will bring a new age into a flesh age by God written it shall be destroyed. The Christian should automatically become extremely suspicious when someone tells you their organization is going to bring in a new age or would ask you to become a part of a new age movement when this old age has been around for 6,000 years approximately and shall continue the flesh Satan controlled, evil, flesh age, outside of Christ, until you either join Christ or until Christ returns and puts an end to this earth age. Documentation. Second Peter, chapter 3. It is stipulated in this third chapter that there would come mockers in the last days saying, it's not going to happen. This earth age is not going to end. It's going on forever. And Peter then teaches of, one by one, specifically, each of the three earth ages. There is no such thing as a new world age in the flesh. I want to repeat that. It is not written in God's Word, any place in God's Word, that there shall be a new earth to cosmos age in the flesh age, which is Satan, the prince of the air, the devil, the dragon's hour. He will attempt in every way, shape, form to deceive the people in the flesh of this earth that he can take them into a glorious new way of thinking. A glorious new way of thought. And a lot of people are suckered into it because they will take the word of man over, if you would, the Word of God. So, I want to reiterate again. There was one earth age. It was destroyed. It's written of in Second Peter chapter 3 as well as Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. That earth age was destroyed by water. This earth age shall not be changed, altered, or done away with, with a new age imposed by man. You know, in the first place, doesn't it seem a little suspicious to you when you would hear a human being say they were going to create a new age? Doesn't that in itself take away from the Almighty? Isn't it a little presumptuous? Because you see, beloved, if it is opposite or different than God's plan or God's device, then who are you following when you listen to this? God's plan states that this earth age shall end and be destroyed. The method thereby shall be fire. And He is that consuming fire in no other way. Shall it be altered or changed except that that is written and recorded in God's Word that any fourth grader can understand clearly and without explanation concerning Antichrist's appearance, our gathering back to Christ, and how the Antichrist shall alter this earth age. 
how shall Antichrist alter this earth age? He's going to have supernatural abilities to make it appear that in fact, de facto, a new age has come into being upon this earth and all saints have gathered to him and it is called the apostasy. By any other name, you can call it New World, you can call it Humanism, you can call it New Earth Age, you can call it the Third Force, you can call it The Force, you can call it whatever you want to, it is still the apostasy. Just dressed up a little bit in terminology. The world was surprised a short time ago by full-page ads that appeared in many nations. The Christ shall appear on such and such a date. And the world wondered, many mocked, many were confused. And it would be comical, except for one thing. They're not playing games. The people that instituted, brought about, uh, and brought forward that ad, full page, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars all over the world were not playing games and they are a small part, if you would, of the fine horn, which is to say the institution in part that brings many tentacles of Satan's appearing, the Christ, better said the Antichrist, into his physical, spiritual, supernatural appearance upon this earth. Is it a new thing? This gentleman's name was Krim. Krim was from Scotland, from Fanhorn. The nest, if you would, in part, of which all, I repeat, all works in the occult, the New World Movement, uh, is generated. You can purchase many books in these end times. Why not go back and get the granddaddy of all of them? They all stem from this. Helene Blavatsky. That's her name. Helena. What does Helena mean in the Greek tongue? The light. The light. I could make many things out of Blavatsky. Vatsky. She must have been a real deer. She was not the first. <clears throat> well, what was this copyrighted in? 1889. There is nothing new under the sun, my dear friend, and the conspiracy has continued from the time that Cain was driven from the garden to the land of Nod and it continues on and on, teaching Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. These presses from this, as we're going into a story in a few moments that tells you how we got from Blavatsky up to Spangler to Ferguson to many other names, but Krim, all closely interwoven from one group, one way of thinking that is a satanic as Satan himself, for it is Satan controlled even down to the point of demon, vegetable, and animal appearing in gardens for health reasons. To make people think that they were doing right. There's nothing wrong with health food. It's beautiful and it's wonderful and God gave us the earth to produce, but this allowed us to pray to demons to richen the soil with the occult working into one of the finest, out, most outstanding professions in the world today, and that is to say bringing health to people. Satan works into all professions. It is the doctrine that comes forth uh, from uh, spiritual and or otherwise that spews forth from uh, a profession and or business that can be damaging and that Satan utilizes. Uh, so, again, nothing new. Blavatsky 
wrote many years ago. Bailey took over. Bailey is more or less the Paul, if you would, or some call the Vatican City for the movement. There's nothing new in it. It's Satan bringing in Antichrist in these end times. I'm going to recommend. Here is a book that is extremely dangerous. Uh, it is by their first so-called man that had the Christ in him. His name is David Spangler. He wrote The Emergence. And do not be surprised if the emergence is the Christ emerging, his emergence from man. Spangler was groomed for it for a while. And it fell. Spangler is the author of many poems, many writings that are quoted in works that would shock some of you as they surface here, there, and yon in both medical profession, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Chrysler Cooperation, many large oil companies have and pay for a class more or less written by this man or instigated thereby to help them think in one worldism. Their employees are paid to attend these schools. It's, it's, uh, it's respected. David Spangler went to Scotland and studied there. He was welcomed. He became an instructor more or less. And it was through he and others that crim and surfaced, if you would at that time, the so-called Christ's appearance upon earth. They established their terrorist centers uh, all in the major cities in America. And millions, untold millions of people are taken into this, the Sahara Club a noble organization for the beauty, the scenery. But they house many of the teachings of Bailey and Spangler. And yes, Blavatsky. And what is wrong with this? It's all good. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It is ours to form a brotherhood that shall have no pain, no worries, no fear, and have a new earth age with a Messiah over it uh, that will, uh, they, in all your disarmament movements, they are foremost. Disarm, but in their manifestos, they say they will turn those arms after they are in their control upon the Christians that will not adhere to their theology, philosophy, spirituality, their methods that they will use. It was written by Bailey even, I, I believe, we'll, we'll, I'll check in a moment, indicated that the atomic bomb would even be used upon the Christians that would not align with their one world, new world movement. There is a work done. Well, first, let's, let's, let's analyze this book by Blavatsky. Now, you can't see it, but I want you to see before you leave. We see a symbol. All spirituality is strong in symbols. They mean something. It is a trademark. You see the Star of David, which the Judeo, or your Jewish religion, practices, whether they follow Christ or the Kenite type teaching. Within that Star of David is a cross, which means Christian, Judeo, Christian religions. And what is this wreath we have around it? Oh, it isn't a wreath, it's a serpent. It's a big old snake. The serpent encompassing religion. With a swastika to the left at the top. Does that say anything to you? A swastika type device with the feet taking to the left rather than the right. 
Well, now, what is this? This dear little Helena has placed another symbol down here, and it is a cross with the serpent hanging upon the cross. My, I would think that most Christians would take that as most blasphemous. For it was Christ uh, that died upon the cross, not Satan. But that is what is implied by that filthy symbol upon this literature that is espoused by Satan himself. So we're not playing games. And these things cannot be considered as harmless, for they are satanic. They are very damaging to the minds of the youth. Uh, for these people are not playing games. They are not uh, playing games. Uh, so be very careful. Be very careful as we go into this uh, study. I am simply, I am not setting myself up as an authority on this particular subject. Therefore, I am to read from a woman's work that I feel is an authority, and I wish to call her name. I'll be reading from The Hidden Dangers of the Rainbow, which is another symbol that is utilized by these people. Unfortunately, it's not a rainbow that was placed there by a promise from Almighty God that this world would not be destroyed by water again. And the rainbow people themselves would be quite well advised to know that the only way this earth age shall end and a new earth age come in is by fire. But they have other plans. Therefore, I intend most of these books, when they were be, uh, the Bailey, uh, uh, Spangler, and others as they are tied together, were published at the Lucifer Press, Inc., that can be documented. You'll have it documented here or from the books. If you got that Lucifer Press, and then they changed it. Uh, they changed it to Lucis Trust. Which really, what are you teaching? Trust Lucis or trust Lucifer? I'm simply, in taking time, I'm going to give you an overview as reading from Constance Cumbly, page 54. An overview so that it will familiarize you slightly with what, the, what are the intentions, but I will be drawing more from the documentation that she provides than I will from the book itself. We begin. According to New Age sources, the New Age movement is a worldwide network. It consists of tens of thousands of cooperating organizations. Uh, their primary goal are the secret behind their unity in diversity. Quote, unquote. I repeat, unity in diversity or diversity is the formation of a new world order. The movement usually operates on the basis of a well-formulated body of underlying uh, esoteric or occult teachings. Uh, heavily drawing upon all forms of mysticism, Eastern and Western, the movement could appear to the uninitiated as a loose coalition. However, there is extensive political collusion and agreement among its leadership. And believe me, before we finish, you'll understand. Carefully structured along the lines set forth in Alice Bailey, she's kind of, like I said, the Paul, if you would, of their movement, writings. It includes organizations teaching mind control, holistic health, uh, esoteric, esoteric, rather, esoteric philosophy, scientific workers, political workers, or and organizations dedicated to peace and world goodwill. Do you see why it's difficult to speak out against it, beloved? Flies a good banner. World goodwill. It also includes many consumer, environmental, and naturalist uh, organizations, uh, as well as religious cults of every shade and description. They have probably moved forward further in religious circles than any other circles of nutrition or medical aids. 
it has successfully infiltrated nearly every segment of our personal, religious, and professional lives. Uh, this is a true statement. Uh, the glue binding most New Age devotees is one of common mystical experiences. Now you sharpen up for me and listen close. Experimental religion is considered vital within the movement. A substantial proportion of those within the movement strongly believe in psychic phenomena and say they do so because of direct experiences. You know, demonology is strong in this, and as much as it's Lucifer's press, or trust Lucifer, if you trust him, many spirits can speak to you. Make sure what your experiences are being brought to you by and from. Those among their number who have not participated in the communal tripping of the light fantastic uh, are encouraged to try meditation, LSD, or any one of the scores of um, uh, the um, psycho psychotechnologies promise to induce transformation. Do you know what that is? transformation from your body somewhere. A euphism for progressively deeper levels of demonic influence. Dear friend, there's nothing wrong with meditating. We have a book. We have a letter. We have a God. We don't need another. Prayer and meditation are the most beautiful precious moments a person can have. But we don't need a book written by Bailey or Spangler or Blavatsky to tell us how to meditate our Heavenly Father from who all knowledge flows was quite able to write that book for us and he did not need demonic inspiration to bring it forth. And I continue. The New Age movement called by Marilyn Ferguson, who is the author of the Aquarian Theorism and deriving its name from the so-called Age of Aquarius, encompasses a number of groups and sub-movements such as the Holistic Movement, Humanistic Psychology, uh, Transpersonal Psychology, Humanistic Movement, New Thought, Third Wave, Third Force, the new spirituality, the human potential movement, uh, secular or secular humanism, and humanism. So we see, beloved, they fly many banners. And do you know something? There's over 10,000 of them. That's only a few. Only a few. That's why you must be careful when you dabble outside God's Word. You can be dabbling in Lucifer's own play tank. Uh, contrary to the assertions of New Agers um, that their conspiracy lacks dogma, there is a discernible body of teachings dominant with the movement while many paths may be employed to reach the trance-like state they encourage. Uh, once that state is reached, once you're out of it, once you're up there, if you understand what I mean, um, the paths are nearly identical from the po that point forward. As Alice Bailey said, the emphasis, this is a quote, the emphasis in all esoteric schools is uh, necessary and rightly laid upon meditation. Sounds good. has a good ring to it. If someone can encourage you to meditate and then as the song leader leads or the psalm leader leads or the minister leads uh, through the meditation that takes your mind uh, into the tentacles of Satan's grasp uh, in out organizations contrary to the Word of God. Now there is your secret. That's how you can keep yourself from being involved uh, in any of these things, is to stay in God's Word. Now, holistic help. 
There are many good things, and I want to make it very clear. Satan, he's not going to take over something bad. He doesn't need that. He's got plenty of it already. It is only something good that he will try to take over to utilize, to deceive, and to bring people to that point of spiritual meditation that will lead them spiritually into his demonic camp. Besides the writings of Helena Blavatsky and Alice A. Bailey, the bulk of New Age doctrine is derived from the works of George Gorgeff, uh, Pierre Cardin, P.D. Ospinsky, H.G. Wells, Nicholas um, Rorich, and David Spangler. Trusts of the movement as well as the aims of its groups are largely derived from the Alice Bailey books. Now remember her name. Largely, it is all derived from her books, but then, of course, Alice Bailey got hers from Blavatsky. Its overall direction and tactical strategy may be found in the Open Conspiracy Blueprints of the World Revolution by H.G. Wells. I do not recommend that book for anyone that is not strong in their own faith. If you're a babe in Christ, leave it alone. The New Revolution of the movement has come forth in the prolific prose and poetry of Spangler. Spangler is a man that probably has, since the 70s, has misled ever so many. A dangerous individual. Marilyn, I don't mean physically, but spiritually. Marilyn Ferguson's The Aquarian Conspiracy, an important New Age manifesto, attempts to announce and popularize what the New Agers chose, choose to publicly display in their movement, heavily extolling the joys of alerted states of consciousness. Her book continues, uh, contains more euphemisms uh, than facts when it comes to describing the promised land of the New Age. Again, beloved, there is no new land there is no new age other than that promised by Almighty God and His Son, Yahshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ, exactly in line upon line as it is written through the revelations, the prophets, through the mouth of Almighty God. There is no new revelation. There is no new age. It's a, the same old conspiracy as from the beginning. This... Um, uh, this book that I mentioned, there is a footnote. I want to read that footnote for you. The externalism of the hierarchy by Alice A. Bailey, Lucius, have you got that? L-U-C-I-S, Lucius Publishing Company, New York City, originally incorporated as the Lucifer Publishing Company, quoted from page 17 if you wish documentation. Why would someone call Lucifer Press and then change the name to Lucius Trust? Because they trust Lucifer. They're followers of Lucifer. Now, as I stated, I'm not going to draw this out and make it a long, drawn-out thing. Anyone can read a book. But I want to read the documentation thereof to you. Um... Some of, if you would, uh, I'm going to read another footnote concerning the same book by Alice e. Bailey that we just had a footnote on. You will find the freeze campaign outlined in step number nine towards implementing the New World Order. This is found on page 190 and 191. Turn to page 548 and you will see an extolling extillation, rather, of the atomic bomb as something developed by the occult, the hierarchy, and the plans for use or threatened use on obstinate religious groups who will not relinquish their right to speak out on political and social issues. That is to say, the atomic weapons being saved and used upon Christian organizations and nations that would not align with the New World Society. It should remind you of Armageddon 
whereby a world peace treaty has been signed. But one nation stood out and against Antichrist. And these weapons were sent against that nation. It's in line with God's Word. Okay. You've heard me mention several of these names of authors. Ferguson, Spangler, Bailey. Um, Foster Bailey stated that um, even Hitler, if you would, was aligned in part with them. And this is, a, this is a footnote to that. And I read, See Running God's Plan by Foster Bailey. All right. Page 14 and 15. This book is published by Lucis Trust, or Trust Lucifer, whichever you prefer. Foster Bailey was an attorney, a former officer of the American um, Theosophical Society under the international direction of Annie Besant, or Besant, Bess, Besant. Now she was quite a writer also and an author, and you want to make a note of that name. It will slip into many works. And most importantly, the husband of Alice A. Bailey. Do you see how they were intermarrying and how they are joined together? The Baileys broke with the Theosophical Society after Alice became the subject of transmissions by the Masters. This means by Satan. All right. The supernatural masters. They formed Lucis Trust, which is the simple, most important organization within the movement. Trust Lucifer. As the custodian of Alice Bailey's writings, while Bailey does not mention Hitler directly in this uh, particular passage, nevertheless, one hardly needs a PhD in history to sort out his statements that a previous attempt had been made to unify Europe by uniting the people living in the Ryan River Valley, using that river as a binding factor. And it was an attempt by a disciple, but did not work. Now attempting, now another attempt is in full swing and continues of loose trust, uh, okay, at, after the death of uh, this one. Okay, another footnote. According, uh, let's see, see, an, see Initiation, Human and Solar by Alice Bailey, transmitted telepathically by the Tibetan Master, in other words, straight from Satan. Page 182. According to this, the New Age is to be an age when, above all, which brings opportunity to the um, occidental races and through the medium of this life force of executed organization of government by rule and order, by rhythm and by ritual, which come the time, will come the time rather, within the occidental races uh, with their active concrete mind and their vast business capacity can take initiation. Okay, she continues on and she mentions some of the groups that are taken into this. Organizations as diverse as Amnesty International, Greenpeace, the Sahara Club, Children of God, and Zero Population Growth openly and proudly build themselves as New Age. So do another approximately 10,000 organizations which uh, within just the United States and Canada, not including the branches of these organizations, many which are located in every major city. Okay? Lucis Publing, Publishing Company in New York from the Rays and the Initiations by Alice Bailey states, this defines the uh, surface innocence, uh, wait, wait just a minute, surfacely, innocence line of the great invocation calling for sealing the door where evil dwells. This includes doing away with the religious citadels of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Doing away with all religions in existence, more or less. Okay. 
This is another footnote, and I'm going to be closing very soon. This is, this is that book we before mentioned in first, The Externalism of the Hierarchy, page 107, which states that Lucifer is the ruler of humanity. Now, I want to make sure you understood what I said. Lucifer is the ruler of humanity. And in November the 9th, 1982 radio interview over WLAC Nashville, Benjamin Krim told the entire Bible Belt that Lucifer came to planet Earth from planet Venus 18 and one half million years ago and made the supreme sacrifice for us. Now can you understand why the snake hanging on the cross is so important to them? My dear friends, haven't you heard? It wasn't Christ that died for you. It was Lucifer. David Spangler, in his Reflections on the Christ, let me quote that so you understand. It is a, the title of a book. Quote, The Reflections on the Christ, unquote. Now, this is what Spangler says. Now, you're going to see a lot of beautiful poems written by this person. But I want you to know what's in his mind, his filthy mind. In his writings, he devotes an entire chapter to Lucifer, Christ and God. He states on page 44, 44 and 45, that the required initiation to enter the new age is luciferic. Now do you understand why their press is called Lucius Trust or Trust Lucifer? Reflections is published by the Fine Horn. This is a place in Scotland that Krim, that Bailey, that all these people, more or less, that is their Vatican well, I believe it says it here. From Finehorn Foundation, Finehorn may actually be described as the Vatican City of the New Age Movement. That's where it comes from. Have you not heard that Krim came from Scotland? Right from the nest. Well, beloved, we could go on and on. But I don't know about you. But other than a personal study of just knowing who our enemy is and what they're doing, I told you that there was no authority upon it. But then at the same time, as an authority on God's Word, I can see this as the contrast to it. That there are actually Satan worshipers that worship by the tens of thousands in the name of God. Think of the, the Sahara Club, Amnesty International, Greenpeace. All these goody-goody organizations, and I'm not saying, please understand, that everybody that is a member of any one of these organizations has anything to do with this. They don't, necessarily. It's just that they are so anxious to believe good, 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 that if they set Lucifer down at the table with them in the form of Antichrist, that's good, 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 too. I do believe that this organization shall bring forth a Christ. I believe it is through and in part through the works of this organization that a path is being paved. And that path is Antichrist. Krim shall have his Messiah. He shall surface. But it will not be according to when two newspaper reporters find him as Krim states. It shall be when Michael boots him out of heaven. It shall be at God's, at God's back, at His call, not Lucius Trust. They groomed one person to do this in the year 1975, and oh, what a disappointment it was. The world wasn't quite ready for him. It's all a good history. It's well worth your time to study it. I highly recommend the works of Constance, Constance Cumbly. She is a woman lawyer from, from uh, New York, I believe it is. Is it New York? Let me check now that I've made this statement. From Detroit, Michigan. She has offices in Detroit, Michigan. She's a very able lawyer. I highly recommend, rather than buying necessarily, unless you want to make a specific study, this publication, The Hidden Dangers of the Rainbow. 
and anyone in the tape audience, I would recommend it as well. Rather than pr uh, spending money on uh, Belosky, let me let me look again. I'm tangled up on it. Blavatsky, or someone like this, to actually put money in their tills. This this is an accurate copy, and it will put money in the tills rather of someone that is fighting against this rather than someone that is for it. So I highly recommend that book. Beloved, listen. There is nothing new under the sun. It is the same old story from the time the serpent first wiggled his way across the garden until he has tried to encircle the cross or hang upon the cross. He is Lucifer, the bright and morning star. He is not the bright morning star, which is Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ. Be very careful when you teach against the New Age society to your friends. It is a very difficult subject to teach. Why? Because it's all good. And how can you argue against something that is all good? There's only one way you can. They teach that in time it is the good in you it is the good in you and you become God. Therefore, there is no God supreme. <laughs> they have a trinity as well. They have a trinity. And um, I'm, if I can find it real quick, I'm going to read it. And if I can, I'm going to close. Their trinity is this. Their trinity is this. The Father, number one, is Will. W-I-L-L. -L. I'm going to tell you something. If you have to depend on man's will, I'm talking about yours. I know most of your wills. You know, I'm, I'm, not, point, I'm not judging. Bless your hearts, all right? I'm just saying, compared to my Father, you know, I, I see no connection whatsoever that's the Father. This is their trinity. All right? Do you know what the Son is? It's love and wisdom. Now, that's quite a combination. Do you know what the Holy, Exper Holy Experience, the Holy Spirit is? Active intelligence. That's it. So you see, there are people that will listen to a smooth, fast-talking philosopher especially when he can produce people such as Blavatsky as Spangler in his beautiful poems as Finehorn in Scotland and Krim that is able to come up with money to buy full page ads in television time worldwide don't kid yourself there's a lot behind it so what is your defense? if it's not of God you won't know part of it if they teach that there is no God, that's enough to stand against it. For that is blasphemous, most certainly. So, that hour is on us. Antichrist is coming. He has many workers in this world. Be prepared mentally. Be on guard. How can you be on guard? Put on every piece of the gospel armor, the piece you leave off is the place the new age shall attack you. I want to repeat that and then I want to close. Protect yourself by having on the full gospel armor, Ephesians uh, chapter 6, the place where you leave one piece of the armor off is the place the new age of Lucifer Satan, who you're supposed to stand against those fiery darts using this armor, it is that place he will attack you because, my dear friend, he knows you. Even down to the point of where they have their gardens in fine horn, actual demonics appear to these people and talk to them. I believe it. They're not playing games. You pray to Lucifer. He'll answer you. You pray to God Almighty. 
and he's already answered you. It's written. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your strength. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. And Father, most of all, we thank you for that event that happened in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, where Jesus himself stated, I beheld Satan as a star, Lucifer, that bright morning star, upon this earth. And before he left, he pointed and said, I give you power over all your enemies speaking, yes, even to us today. Thank you, Father, for that power and that right and that might. For it is mighty in thy name. And yes, even Lucifer flees at the name of Yeshua, man, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this.